What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Monday morning and we have got our new epic players, booster players, legend players, whatever you want to call them. We've got Dennis Irwin, Xavi Alonso and Shea Gibbons. So there was a little video obviously that went out with this. We'll let this play here as we talk about it. So every Monday, these legend players drop, right? It used to be on the Thursday, but Dennis Irwin, I think, is going to be one of the best full backs in the game if you train him right. With the way that the gameplay has gone now, I don't think crossing is as powerful as it was before. It's more about kind of tight possession, tight control. You can still score headers, but I feel like they need to, you know, like really buff up the headers, right? Because a lot of the gameplay now is a lot of one-touch passing and direct shooting and direct run, running of lines and direct lines straight forward. But listen, Dennis Irwin, Irish legend, one of the most underrated players I would say that ever played for that brilliant Manchester United squad uh, back in the 90s. Brilliant, brilliant player, so consistent. And we also have Xabi Alonso. So Alonso is in as an anchorman. We'll get a full look at these players in a couple of minutes. But Alonso is in as an anchorman, and he's shown a lot of goal scoring uh, clips here. But he is down as really a very solid defensive player, right? And obviously with the booster as well, we'll have a look at that in a second as to what he's going to be boosted. It's going to be passing and shooting. Um, Dennis Irwin is going to be the same. And then last but not least, we have another Irish player on the Irish bile as they're really representing us this week with Shea Given, right? So would I like to have seen a different player ahead of Shea Given? I mean, from an Irish point of view, no. The more Irish players, the better for me. Um, but from an actual e-football point of view, I really feel like they haven't done Shea Given that, like, he's not going to be meta. He's not going to be better than Casillas. Obviously, stats only tell half the picture, right? But as you can see there, there's their final ratings. We're actually going to go in here and show you a training guide for him. Just a quick one and just talk about it. We will be streaming later on today. So as you see, these are also in a pack here uh, with other players. I did a preview video yesterday. So Batman, Zinchenko, Becker, Alison Becker, Bassi, Colwell, Onana, Kyle Walker is there with 36 levels. He's going to be a demon. And Lerma is there as well. Um, Jonathan Lerma. So there's a lot of nice players here. But again, the levels sometimes come against them. I mean, Botman is a beast, but he's only got 22 levels. Kyle Walker has a couple of frailties in his card, but he's got 36 levels. Onana looks to be the pick of the bunch. But then there's a lot of really solid DMFs that you can get that you could literally save your coins for these, right? So that is just something to keep in mind as we take a look at these. Um, I will take a look at three of the top ones, right? Right here. Right, so I have uh, hid my webcam there to show you the full stats. So this is the Zenchenko build that we have gone for straight off, right? So we're going to be playing him as a CMF, probably. Um, if you don't have a better CMF than him, he is going to be an absolute monster, right? We don't even have him fully trained up with those 37 levels. We've, tw we've 12 progression points left, right? But even at that, he's going to be hitting the 90 zone with a boost, with the manager boost, with ball control, dribbling, low pass, lofted pass, that are going to take him into the 90 zone, right? He also has going to have 85 aggression, tackling and defensive engagement are going to be in the 80s, and speed and acceleration are going to be about 85, with balance and stamina around that as well, 85 to 89, depending on how what manager that you use, right? And even at that, lads, we still have room to grow with this guy, right? So if you're playing him with this build, which is 10, 7, 7, 8, 7, right, starting with passing all the way down to defending, as you see down the left-hand side here, I will do dedicated training guides if you want them as usual for different positions and stuff, but if you are, just to keep giving a look here, right, these are why some of these players are very underrated, if you wanted to make this guy a more defensive option, right, and you want to play him as kind of a box-to-box -box type player, you can actually get his aggression up to 87, um, if you don't want to do that, you can keep it at that, and you could actually bring up his dexterity, you can get it to 87 as well, you could have uh, one for aerial strength, if you want to pop that in, that'll get you the boost to 70 jump, so very, very, very solid player, we also have Kyle Walker here, so Kyle Walker, in my opinion, is going to be very meta, I think, if people use him correctly, now, we've had to pop in a lot into defending here, we probably don't need to go that heavy with the defendant, because Kyle Walker is more about pace, um, and we can actually take two off here and put two into dexterity and still have one more into lower body and that will give us like 90 plus stamina and speed acceleration is going to be 86 kicking power is going to be 86 and we still have that aggression 86 so depending on how defensive you want him to be you can kind of counteract a lot of that uh if you're used to playing with carlos he'll be like a right back carlos basically he'll just bombard up forward and then we also have onana so this guy is a monster as well all his defensive stats with the boost are going to be in the 90 zone and he's also going to have speed acceleration and and physical contact and jump either 80 or 90, with the physical contact being a big one there, as well as header, dribbling, low pass, tight possession, all between 75 and 80 in his stats. So yeah, really, really, really solid cards, right? What I would say as well is, with the likes of Given, right? Given I've been crying out for a card for him for a long time, right? He gets goalkeeping plus two, 
And he also has penalty saver and captaincy. He doesn't have low punt, which is a bit of a worry, but he does have unwavering form. And of course, he's got 27 levels. So finally, with the booster, we are going to have a very solid, decent version of Shea Given, right? That's with the booster, that's without the booster. And this is his stats without the booster, right? Now, you're going to be adding plus two to all of these stats here, except reach, right? So we're going to be getting a plus four boost with the manager playstyle proficiency and his actual in-game booster itself so goalkeeper awareness catching and reflexes are all going to be at 90 right 92 for goalkeeper awareness and then 90 for catching and reflexes we're also going to have jump at 89 and we're going to have the goalkeeper reach at 90 as well so he's got all the stats in 90 very very nice little bit disappointed his jump doesn't go to 90 as well but that's a tiny little thing uh, a, a tiny concern to have with a card such as uh, Shea Gibbon, right? He's an absolute beast. I think he'll be a really, really good player if you do get him. He's down as a defensive. We also have Xabi Alonso. Now, Alonso's booster is the same as Dennis Irwin's. He only has standard form, and he also has a, a, a wide variety of player skills, right? So, soul control, one-touch pass, outside curler, low lofted, interception, and fighting spirit. Brilliant stats, brilliant player skills, and he's got the plus two passing. So, this build that you see here is going to be without the booster, so it's going to be plus four to low pass, loft of pass, kick and power and curl, which is here, so you're going to be getting a plus four to low pass, which will bring it to 95, plus four to lofted pass, which is going to bring it to 98, and then of course the kick and power is going to be over 90, as well as, as having all of these stats defensively, very, very, very solid. He is down as an anchor man, right, so he is going to be naturally more defensive. If you would like to I kind of put him this way, 15 into defending because you've got 88 tackling, uh, which is going to go to 90, right? You're going to have 92 defensive awareness, 90 tackling, 87 aggression, and 98 defensive engagement. If you don't want to go that heavy with him and you want to pay, play him as your passer, you can obviously take this down to around that, to around the eight. You can have that really, and then throw it into whatever else you want. You know, whether you want to up his dexterity a little bit to make him a little bit more nimble, but I definitely think the first build is better. And then last but not least, we have Dennis Irwin. So Irwin has definitely been a guy that I've been keeping my eye out on since he was added to the database. He's got unwavering form. One of the most underrated players, I think, that is in the game uh, last year as well. He doesn't have the best player skills. I thought he'd definitely have one-touch pass as well, but he does have pinpoint crossing. He does have early crosser, so you know what you're going to be getting with him. He also has the passing plus two booster as well. So this is the build that we've actually gone for with Dennis Irwin, right? 13 into passing. We've also gone five into dribbling, nine into dexterity, eight into lower body, one into aerial, and four into defending. If you want him more defensive, take away a little bit from the passing because you're going to be getting a plus four boost to that. But this guy looks to be the real deal, lads. You're going to have speed, acceleration, and balance all into the 85 zone. You're going to have stamina and kicking power over 90. You're going to have the passing over 90. And you're going to have defensively a very sound player. So let me know what you guys think if you're going to spin or skip. I will be live streaming later. So don't forget to subscribe and check us out later. We'll have a bit of crack. Might spin for a few. We do have the coins on our main profile. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.